I've come to Canberra to meet a very interesting Aussie. Over her career, Janine Faber has photographed our troops in some of the world's most dangerous war zones. But these days, she lives life a lot closer to home, and the recruits she photographs are of a very different breed. Good girl, well done. Mm -hmm. Hi, Janine. Hi, Hi Dr. Happy. Have a seat. Don't interrupt you. Come on. Hey, look, look at me. Good I'm girl. Over here. Yes, good girl. This is Pippa. She's a very well-trained dog. What's the most important aspect when you're photographing a dog? Treats. Wait. Yes, good girl. It's all about making sure I can get what I need. Good girl. A lot of people look at this going on, you know, sit, drop, stay, come, all that sort of thing. These are very basic commands that everyone should be able to teach their yeah. dog to do. The basics are essential to really get good, strong photos if they can at least stay. Good girl. The other trick is to make sure you're down at eye level. So I do a lot of my work on the floor. It's much more um, engaging with that animal. You want to see their eyes and their expression. The other thing um, I like to do is keep them on a plain background because it's all about the dog and not about the background. So if you're photographing at home, I would choose somewhere, something fairly neutral. If it's too busy, you can take away from the dog. After I photograph, I then have to go into the edit suite. I do a lot of detail editing. I might um, clean up the eyes and make them look a little bit brighter, improve the colours. You enhance those photos, Make right? it look beautiful, You make yeah. them perfect, right? That's yes, the that's idea. right. Today, here in Canberra, Janine runs her business from home. She still serves with the Australian Army Reserve with proud memories of her ADF career. So this is... Um, Janine in a very different situation. Correct. And I think Sergeant Janine, if I'm uh, correct, is that right? Yes, that's right. That's in Afghanistan. That's in um, just outside of Kabul. That's an interesting shot. Yes. That's so that a night shot. That was uh, taken over Iraq back in 2014. I was part of a mission to fly in to provide humanitarian aid for the displaced Yazidi people. <laughs> My job was primarily to film the actual airdrop. And it was such an honour to be part of that. Afterwards, you know, adrenaline kicks in and yeah. they're a bit frightened, but because, but at the time, all you can think of is you've got to make sure you get the shot. So this is obviously Anzac Day somewhere. Where, where, where was that? That's the very last Anzac Day in Tarankot, Afghanistan, and I was really pleased to be part of that service. And we've got a dog. We've got a yes. dog. A very famous dog. Yes, this is Sabi. The Sabi was actually a, a bomb detection dog. That's right. Sabi went missing in Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. Same firefight that Tripper Mark Donaldson um, eventually received his VC award for. Went missing for how long? I think about 14 months. Yeah, and you took the first pictures. And this was actually my very first official army photographer job. Really? Was, was to photograph Sabi. A dog? Yeah, and I was so chuffed. It was great. And did that give you a lead into doing Dog portraits? Oh, I, like I, oh, look, I've always loved dogs and this was just a natural fit for me. And the boss knew I loved dogs and knew I'd get the shots. She's pretty special. Yeah. Oh, like this is uh, where I have all my dog gallery photos. Wow. So many different expressions. I mean, that just jumps straight out at you because yeah. the eyes of the dog, you know, right at the camera and it's sharp, it's razor sharp. That's where I like to throw the treats for the dogs to catch them. That's the most That's, amazing yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, you got to be quick. He um, left a lot of dribble around the house. That was. Oh, like, Betty did. Yeah. to clean that up. <laughs> that was that was. And a mop and a bucket. Gorgeous yeah, job, aren't they? Yeah, 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 a lot, yeah. A lot of personality. Where are you going in the car? Mm -hmm. I'm good with other people's dogs, but when it comes to my own, it's not... Isn't that a peculiar situation? Funny, that. It's something I encounter all the time, and in fact, <laughs> that's the real reason I'm here, isn't it? That's right. Yes, Dr Harry. So this is uh, my Harry. husband, Neil, and... Uh, I'm glad you identified This is Neil and this is the dog, OK? And this is Kobe. This is we got Kobe. that right to start off with, mate. <laughs> we did. OK, so this is, uh, would be a patient of mine, is that correct? I believe so. He's a puppy. 
Well, I'm glad you said that. Excitable. Yes. How old? He's nine months old. Mm -hmm. And yep. the breed? He's a Bordoodle, a Border Collie cross with a poodle. We wanted a puppy because we were conscious of um, bringing him into this environment with a lot of dogs coming into the mm -hmm. studio. Mm -hmm. I needed a dog that was brought up in this environment, that mm -hmm. it was normal to have dozens of dogs every week coming mm -hmm. through. So, have we got a visitor that we can call on? We do, we do have. We've got uh, Bridget's dog, Dare, comes to visit. Dare? Dare. I dare you. <laughs> dare? What, yes. Come what, on what in, is Bridget. it? A Come 75 on kilo rotty or something? No, she's... Oh, God, love it. It's a schnauzer. <laughs> <laughs> a little mini schnauzer. So let them off the lead. So, and they just love each other. <laughs> and don't worry about it. That's very normal. But <laughs> they just... They just go crazy. <laughs> When she comes here, it is pure excitement. She knows the streets, so when we even drive up, she is so excited, like, from the go. Isn't it nice to see two dogs having a game together? Which is exactly what they're doing. The playtime is super cute, but far from ideal, when Janine is trying to work. And that's, that's the issue we're having, because he's becoming a distraction during a shoot. All too much going on. That's the problem. <laughs> I think he's just being a puppy and he just wants to be part of the action. That's where this is where the party's at. What do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But he seems to be getting a little bit crazier with the older he gets. See guys, I, I really see this as being a fairly normal sort of situation, the way most dogs would react. Because you've got a dog who really is part of your pack. But you keep bringing strangers in all the time. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're coming into what is your environment, something that they want to protect. Let's have a little bit of a tour de force around the place. Sure. See what we can come up with. Yeah. Hey? So, without being too descriptive, this is the boudoir. This is where he sleeps at night time. Yes, that's right. Where do you put Kobe when you're doing a photographic session? In here. But then he hears them arrive and he gets so excited and worked up, scratching at the door crazily, trying to get out and wanting to play. And what we're starting to do now over the last few weeks since he's become a little bit more vocal while we have a session is Neil has to stay in here to keep him quiet and entertain him. So this dog isn't bad at entertaining himself. Yeah, he's looking for... There you go. See, I think you've got here a pretty smart dog. Oh, yeah. But he's also very good at working things out, OK? And wrapping me around his paw. <laughs> I think at the moment, yes. And so I think it's, in the future, going to be difficult for you if he becomes one of those dogs which is very home protective, and Border Collies can be a bit that way, right? Yeah. Very home protective, then it's going to be very hard for you to continue your business with him on the same premises. Even it, though he's friendly. Even though he's friendly. Yeah. Right? He's a pup. I asked you, did you give orders or take orders in the military? And I'm suspecting at the moment that this is your sergeant major <laughs> in the form of a dog, right? Pretty close to the mark? Yep. OK. Yep. Now, you said to me that the backyard was only small. Yes. And I would say to you that sometimes the best things come in small packages. The doggy dog. How fantastic is that? Would you like to take this dog off the lead? Where's Sonny? Who's next door? Who Go. is next door? Sonny. This is the answer to your problem, in a practical sense. So when you're working inside, right, Covey mm -hmm. is next door with his best mate, the Groodle. When you're not working, the Groodle comes in here. And has a place. So we have a dog shear situation. Can I contribute any more to this whole situation? Yes, I can. In this pocket, that's an adaptable collar. You cut it to fit. And in the other pocket, I've got one of these. So this is a diffuser. This goes in the bedroom. This releases an endorphin, the same as that. Yeah. Exactly the same product. It's a calming agent. When you plug it in, it warms it up and diffuses. You'll find nothing, but your dog will. And we've got a door. Kobe! Come on! 
Good boy. You got yourself a real good dog. Thank you, Dr. I Harry. love him. I'm fascinated by your photography. It's great stuff. I've learned a few tricks. No. Thank you for sharing your career and thank you for sharing your dog. Utilise that and your neighbour as much as possible and pray they never move. <laughs> oh, he loves that. Thank you, Dr. Harry. <laughs>